Hello and welcome to Woolerton Old Hall Garden here in Shropshire. I'm Penny Meadmore and I'm a garden designer and agronomist and I'm here today to show you one of the county's finest gardens as part of this year's Virtual Shrewsbury Flower Show. Everything you'll see here has been designed and created by the garden's owners, that's John and Leslie Jenkins. And they started from scratch, in fact, from a grass paddock about 30 years ago. It's the kind of garden you visit for an afternoon out. You know, gentle stroll, cup of tea, piece of cake. But you will leave it inspired and full of ideas for your own plot. And I'm not suggesting that you might recreate this in your own garden, but there are certainly elements of the design or the planting schemes which you can take home with you. So, for example, this garden has what I call good bones. That's the skeleton that everything else hangs on. If you were to look at a map of the garden, you would see a really clear ground plan. Definite shapes, clearly defined spaces. Here at Woolerton, those spaces are squares and rectangles and they're all interlaced with wide connecting paths. It's quite formal, it's even regimented, but it's what holds the whole thing together. And of course, once you start planting up with lush perennials like this, then it all becomes much softer and more alive. And those good bones also extend to lots of year round structure. So Woolerton has evergreen hedges, beech hedges, it's got pleached limes, it's got towering yew pyramids, and it has masses of clipped topiary. And then there are really nice hard surfaces, so brick and paving and wood and metalwork all ageing beautifully. And these are the things that look as good in the middle of winter when nothing is flowering as they do the rest of the year. And they're what holds all of this lush scent and colour and interest together when it's at its best as it is at this time of year. That colour and interest comes from massed plantings of annuals, perennials, climbers, there are more than 80 clematis here, and shrubs, roses of course. And when a garden looks as lovely as that, it's really easy to go mad, and they have plants for sale here, but you need to assess your own conditions and make sure that you're buying something which will thrive. So just check your pH, that's the acidity of the soil. Have a look at how well it drains. Is it heavy and wet and prone to puddling? Or is it light and easy to work and dries quickly? And then assess how much light you get. Is it shady or is it in full sun or something in between? And then you use those three parameters to determine what plants will work for you. It's just not worth planting something that doesn't suit your conditions. It won't thrive and you'll be disappointed. And at Woolerton, they match the right plant to the right place. Let me show you a couple of examples. So, for instance, here in the shade garden, beneath the dappled light of these Jack Montii silver birches, the soil stays much moister and makes it ideal for shade-loving, moisture-loving plants. So here you've got Solomon seal and hellebores and lots of ferns, and foxgloves and these stunning astrantia. Whereas here, the long border faces due south and is much better drained. So you've got perfect conditions for some classic cottage garden perennials. There's Delphinium, Salvia, Veronica, Cicerincum and these lovely Achillea. So we've talked about good bones and putting the right plant in the right place. And now we come to the fun part and that's using colour. This is Woolerton's Lanhydrock Garden, which is also known, for obvious reasons, as the Hot Garden. And it uses plants with colour from red to yellow on the colour wheel. So you've got scarlet and crimson and tangerine and terracotta and these brilliant sulphur yellows like this Killia here. And it's not just the blooms which are contributing colour. You've got foliage as well, this golden sedge, 
for example, or the lovely maroon leaves of this Ligularia. They all contribute to that kind of palette. And if you use a hot palette, you'll find that the colours jump out at you. They almost seem to advance towards the eye, whereas if you stuck with cool blues and lilac and mauve, you tend to get a planting which retreats from the eye, can actually make a place look even larger. If you stick to colours that sit side by side on the colour wheel, you're almost guaranteed that they'll work together. They complement one another. As a surprise addition here, there are occasional hits of blue, a real contrast, and for me, that's why this whole hot colour combo works so well. There's nothing understated about it. It's bold and brave, but especially when you combine it with some tender perennials, it's really exciting. Of course, it's not easy to create a garden as fabulous as this, but if you follow the basic rules and indulge your sense of colour, you can use it for inspiration for your own. From me, Penny Meadmore, and the Shrewsbury Flower Show official photographer, Paul Elton, and with huge thanks to everyone here at Woolerton Old Hall Garden. Goodbye.